Hi everyone, this is a badging video for the tufting guns at Makehaven. These are the materials that are needed in order to begin a tufting project. Besides the gun and its transformer, you will also need a frame, some yarn, monk's cloth, scissors, clamps to attach the frame to a surface, and some wire that can be twisted into a threader. Take a closer look at the parts of the tufting gun. There's a speed control, the trigger, the power button, the needle, and the foot. It's best practice to keep the power off when you're not using the gun, and definitely do not thread the gun with the power on. Now we're ready to thread the gun. To do that, I'm going to use a piece of wire that I use as a threader, and I use two pieces of acrylic yarn at once. First, thread through the frame. I do this so the yarn doesn't get stuck in the bottom of the gun. If that happens, turn the gun off and clean all the yarn out before you continue tufting. Let's thread the loop pile gun first. First, I feed the yarn through the metal wire and then through the needle of the gun. And you only need a little bit of yarn coming out the end of it. The rest is going to be wasted and cut off. The next gun is the cut pile gun. Again, through the frame, through the wire, and then the wire goes through the top loop on this one and down. And again, you only need a little bit off the end because it'll be wasted. All right, now we're ready to tuft. Now we're ready to start tufting. I'm going to be using the cut pile gun for this because this one has a pair of scissors that comes up after each stitch. It makes it easier to damage the cloth if you're not using the gun properly. If you can use this gun, you'll be able to transition to use the loop pile gun pretty easily. Let's start off with just doing some straight lines and from there we'll move on to some shapes once we feel confident. You are looking for even stitches and a consistent feel to the gun. It's a tool that needs to be experienced to understand how it works. So while you watch me tuft, I'll take this time to give you some information that I think is valuable. The gun will only tuft in the direction of the foot. You need to use your wrist and body to move the gun and follow the shape you intend to make. For example, if you're making a horizontal line, you need to use your wrist and turn the gun 90 degrees and then tuft to make the horizontal line. The foot of the gun always has to be in contact with the fabric. If you're getting holes in your fabric or the yarn is bunching up on the back of the fabric, try pressing a little harder. The frames at Makehaven measure 27 inches by 30 inches. Monk's cloth comes in 60 inch widths from the fabric store. If you purchase one yard and cut it carefully in half, you can get two 30 by 36 inch pieces and you can have one to practice with and one for your project. You tuft on the back of your cloth and your design comes out the front, so if you're doing a project with letters, this is something to take into consideration because it will reverse. The tension of the yarn is very important. It has to freely flow, absolutely no obstructions. I use a yarn winder to make a cake to ensure there are no snags. If you're making a small spot of color, you can just use your hands to wind a small amount that you'll think you'll need. If the yarn keeps getting caught on the frame, use a strip of masking tape to cover the area of nails. Also, be careful not to scratch yourself on the frames. Turn off the gun when you're not using it, and when you're done, put away your materials or label your work in progress. When you're done using the gun, it needs to be cleaned and oiled. Bring it over to the air compressor gun to dust off all the fibers. Then give the metal parts a few sprays of WD-40. Rotate the gears to get the oil in, wipe off any excess with a paper towel, and then neatly return the gun to where you found it. If you need any help or encounter any issues with the equipment, please post it on Slack. Now you're ready to take the quiz and sign up for a badging appointment. Thanks for watching!